Hello, I'm Jason Graham, here to talk about patient safety and medical errors. You see, medical errors, they happen every day at hospitals around the world. It's your lucky day. You see, we were able to catch on film some of these reckless behaviors as they occurred. This should assist in your nursing education. We need to be able to identify these risks. We need to stop them in their tracks and find an alternate correct plan of action. So come on, come on. Stunning medical news tonight about how many Americans have something go wrong when they go to the hospital. The astronomical new number, one in three patients will face a mistake during a hospital stay. Far worse than we've ever been told. And Sharon Alfonsi has been looking into all the errors. Hey, hey Marcy. Right. Hey, I, yeah. got, I got some orders for you. Hey, hold on a second, okay? Hold on. I got some new orders for 304 and 305. 304 okay. needs some sedation. Okay. They're, they're a little anxious about their surgery. Hold on a second, hold on. And some more extra for 305. Okay, I got it. Hey, got can, it? You just, can you just text me? I'm really busy, please. Yeah, I'll get a text to you right now. Okay, yeah, anyways, like I was telling you, if you want to, the Joint Commission says it is not acceptable for physicians or licensed independent practitioners to text orders for patients to the hospital or other healthcare settings. This method provides no ability to verify the identity of the person sending the text and there is no way to keep the original message as validation of what is entered into the medical record. You just can't do it. He hadn't texted me yet. What did he say he was going to do? Let's see, surgery, anxious. Well, I'll just go ahead. I remember. I got it right here. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Knock, knock. Oh, hey, honey. I'm your nurse for the day. Oh, this is a nursing student. I'm going to give you some medicine the doctor ordered, okay? No. Let's, see, let's get this purse okay. out of the way. No, no you don't want to put it purse. right there. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, that's okay. I'm just going to give you this medicine. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Here we go. It's not going to hurt a bit. All right. Okay, I'll check back in a little bit, okay? Hey, Miss Maple. How are you? What are you giving me? I'm going to give you the medicine the doctor ordered for you. All right, Miss Maple, I'm just giving you some extra, okay, that the doctor ordered. Oh, they give it to me over here. They do? Well, it's okay. We can put it through here. A lot of nurses can do it this way, too, and it usually works just about the same, okay? Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. It won't be an issue. All right, okay. I trust you. All right. Good deal. There you All go, right. ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, uh, oh, I feel so good. Oh, I guess I better even get to the bathroom. I, I don't know why they didn't bring my, my blood with. Oh. 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 I miss Lou. Who are hey, you? I, I'm your surgical nurse. Can I see your name, Ben? You ain't got one. Oh well. I need you to sign these surgical this surgical procedure consent. Just sign it. My gosh. Thank God. I see your gosh, she is something else. I need to mark which leg you're gonna be putting on. Yeah. Marking my leg. I've got to mark it or we'll take off the wrong leg. Don't look at my panties. We're going to be taking off your left leg, okay? I'm going to mark it. 
You know that uh, patient that we had in that room died on the on the operating table. What, what did you give him? I gave him what the doctor told me. To and give what him. did the doctor? He was supposed order. to text it to me, and then he forgot. And I he, guess. And you just didn't. I just went by memory. Wrong site surgical errors happen more than you think. Recent estimates put the number at 40 surgical site errors a week in the United States alone. Turns out, communication is essential. Doctors who come in and talk to a patient pre-op are less likely to make a wrong site error than the ones who first see the patient in the operating room. How's the patient? Um, he is stable. His vitals are, um, his blood pressure is 112 over 68, and the pulse is uh, 72. His O2 sats are at 97% um, on... That killed him. Another common mistake is communication errors. Caution should always be used when discussing patient care or progress. Large medical terms that we often use could mislead or confuse loved ones. And wrong information passed along to the family can have devastating effects. 98,000 people die from avoidable medical errors each year. More Americans die each month of preventable medical injuries than died in the terrorist attacks of 9-11. 99,000 patients a year succumb to hospital-acquired infections in which 90% were preventable. It is the responsibility of you and I Mostly your responsibility as healthcare providers to identify patient safety risks and take the necessary actions to prevent them. Thank you. Bye-bye.